So at this point in the process, you've got a little bit of a decision to make, and ultimately it's what the end goal is for your course. Is This is just a local course that you are building for your own enjoyment. Um, if you have no desire or you don't care if it's published to SGT, um, you could skip ahead quite a bit at this point. Um, you could skip ahead to the planting vegetation where you start to put your trees out. Um, again, if you've only done a couple holes, I would suggest you still stick to a couple holes, stick ahead and just go ahead and, and plant some vegetation. Now, on the other hand, if you really want to make a good looking course, a course that you want to, you know, show your friends, you want to brag about, you want to potentially publish it to GS Pro, I would suggest you watch the rest of the videos in this series between now and planting vegetation, because it's going to show you how to tweak your shapes. The bottom line, though, is that at this point, you have playable meshes, okay? They have physics assigned to them, and you can plant trees, and if you were to export these and build your course, uh, they would work in game, because the game would understand the physics you have assigned, and it understands, you know, what the looks. And with the new V4 tools, they look pretty darn good with the defaults. But let me just show you a couple things in Unity that I know are already problems. Well, first of all, we did forget to add a water plane here. Um, in Blender, we, there was the water plane tutorial uh, section, and I forgot to add one here. So it would be really simple to go back, add water plane, export our FBXs again, and replace the ones in here, and then add them back into our scene. So that's not a problem. We could easily fix that. Um, another thing that I noticed here was that our, and this is me with a little bit of a keen eye, you might see here that this blend is off a little bit. Okay, see how it's dark and it doesn't quite match up? Now, I know what that issue is. It's the black channel strength here. Um, and I could go fix that. It's a little bit beyond the tutorial at this point in the process, but we could make this look a little bit better. That's one thing. Another thing is we're just using default materials. So this might not look like your course, okay? Your course might look different than this. So that's one thing to consider as well is going in here and changing these materials, changing how your fairways look, um, and switching some stuff around. Another thing is if I fly over here, you'll see it. Um, so we got this blend here, which I already pointed out isn't quite right. But then you see this one, this one definitely isn't right. And we talked about this, which is, this is our green to fairway blend. I'm sorry, green to semi-rough blend. And here, the blend's right there. There, it looks pretty good, right? It fades nicely. But what happened? Well, remember, this is fairway here. So this green to fairway blend here, um, this is a green, this blend here is actually doing green to semi, and it doesn't match our fairway. So we could fix that as well. But again, this stuff's all cosmetic. Um, I personally don't like the color of these bunkers. I think they're a little bit too white in my opinion, but that's my opinion and that's just what I would think on this course. And of course, this one needs dug out a little bit, so I'd like to fix that. But you could play this course. You could actually build this now and there's tutorials later on building this and getting into GS Pro. But um, if you want to take it to the next level, I would suggest that you make a decision at this point on how you're going to approach that. And if you're going to take this to the next level, watch the following videos after this one. If not, skip the planting vegetation.